Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. That horse carriage driver is now charged with animal cruelty. His arraignment today reignited calls for a ban on the industry. CBS 2's Christina Fan has more now on the fireworks that happened outside of the courtroom. Ian McKeever smiled at hecklers as he walked out of Manhattan criminal court to a crush of cameras. The 54-year-old is accused of abusing carriage horse rider to the point of collapse last summer in a case that's drawn worldwide attention. How do you live with yourself? It is politicized. Do not harm me in any horse. Hey, hey, no, hey, I've never harmed a horse in my life. Prosecutors say Ryder, who had significant medical issues, should not have been working August 10th, 2022. They allege that once he collapsed, McKeever repeatedly tried to force him to stand by pulling on the reins, yelling, and using a whip, and at no point provided water. Ryder was euthanized several months later due to his overall medical condition. McKeever on Wednesday was arraigned on one misdemeanor count of overdriving, torturing, and injuring animals. This is not just about Ryder, but we need accountability for this abusive industry. Adita Bernkrant is the executive director of New Yorkers for Clean, Livable, and Safe Streets and is renewing her calls for the city to ban horse carriages. We could shut this down tomorrow, and we are saying enough is enough. The union representing the horse carriage industry called this case an outlier and says it is now doing more to protect its horses, including administering more thorough vet exams. We formed the safety committee um, because of this to make sure that drivers and owners are educated about what to do in an emergency if your horse trips and falls. If found guilty on the misdemeanor charge, McKeever could face up to one year in jail. In Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Now, there is currently proposed legislation that would phase out horse-drawn carriages and replace them with electric ones.